Hey y'all, it's Sherry from Sherry K Loves Yarn and Crochet, and I did a meet and greet with Kim from Affordably Crafty, and you, if you are subscribed to Kim, you've seen her video of where we went, where we went, but we went to Webb's, and I had a list of things that I wanted to squish. <sighs> it was so much fun. There was so much yarn. And they also do spinning wheels. And oh my goodness. There was so much. But I had a list of what I wanted to try. Or hold and feel. And just to look at everything. I could have spent all day there. Probably could have broke the bank too. But I had a lot of fun. I had so much fun. To begin with, I picked up four hanks of this Cloudborn Fibers. Um, it's Merino Superwash Sock Twist in Lavender Heather. I've already started making something with one, so I've only got three here. <laughs> and I have a little helper here and one that just jumped on the bed. <laughs> I'm in a different area. Um, Chris has got his radio going so I don't want to strike of anything so back to the yarn this is <clears throat> fingering weight yarn um, it has 467 yards 427 meters 3.5 ounces 100 grams it's machine wash cold gentle hand wash normal do not wring, dry flat. And it uses a US 2 2.75 millimeter uh, knitting needles or a C hook 2.75 millimeter. And it's made in Peru. And the color number is 10 106. That's a beautiful color. And it's so soft. And it's a number one fingering weight. And like I said, I bought four of them. But the best part about it, on their rack, they had 17 colors. Now normally, these are $12 and I paid $7.99 a hank. They were superb. And I'm hoping that when it gets warmer and I'm not working, I can go again because I'd like to get some more of that. I also picked up, now I've been wanting, craving, some of this. Did you see what it was? I picked up some Noro. Now, <clears throat> this is Noro Curapetora. I can't pronounce it. Noro is um, made in Japan, but the dye job is what gets me. It is so saturated with all these beautiful reds and blues and purples and teals. And that is such a beautiful grape color. And it even has pink. And I think that's a brown in there. Is that a brown? Mm, could be a black. Let me give you the deets on it. Now this 
is a worsted weight yarn and it's a thick and thin construction. I don't know if you can see that in here. Um, it's 100% wool and it's self-striping. Uh, what else can I tell you? It's 100 grams, 270 meters, which is approximately 295 yards, give or take. Now they had a lot of these sitting on the shelf in many different colors. Um, I wanted them all. <laughs> I wanted them all. Um, this is color number 1038, uh, Ibus, Ibusuki, Ibusuki, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Now, this takes, in knitting needle size, it's not showing for a crochet hook. Uh, knitting needles size six to seven. Yep. Now these are normally um, seventeen ninety five, and of course they're these are all the same colorway. I got them all out of the same bag. Um, these are normally seventeen ninety five, and I picked them up at ten forty nine a ball. And I picked up eight balls. Yeah. I'm hoping I have enough because I would like to make a sweater. I'm not very good at making wearables. They usually end up being a little too small for me. So I will have to um, really watch my tension and do a swatch and all that happy stuff. But I also, because I did buy wool, I picked up some of the Eucalyn. It's a wool wash. I know it's backwards, I'm sorry. But this was $5, which that was worth it. And I picked up two buttons. Now I love the colors on these. And what they look like. Just the striping. And they had a tower. A four-sided tower of buttons. <clears throat> Pardon me. And it, it was hard to choose. I wanted them all. If, if you ever get a chance to go to Webbs, go. Make a day of it. And then for buying um, over $75 worth of product, they gave us water bottles. And this will come in handy at work. Now, y'all, I, I know that I went shopping a week ago Saturday, and today is the 22nd. I went on the 13th. I have tried to make this video five times. Five times. All right, that's part one of my yarn haul. Um, I will be trying to post this, and I will go get the other bag. Take care. All right, I'm back. For the second half of our shopping trip with... Kim from Affordably Crafty. We stopped at a little um, local yarn shop called Northampton Wools. Now I will link their website down below as well as their YouTube channel. The owner um, was a delightful lady. She was awesome. We talked a little bit. Um, very knowledgeable. Um, 
She does a lot of knitting. But I'm not going to hold that against her. She has a beautiful shop. Every little corner space she used up. And I'm just getting my notes. <clears throat> now the first item on our list, I picked up some Plymouth Yarn Equinox. And that is pretty close to true color. It's a beautiful, beautiful yarn, very soft. And I will tell you a little about this. Uh, it's 65% extra fine merino, 20% linen, and 15% mulberry silk. Um, it's a 50 gram hank, and there's approximately 137 yards made in Peru and hand washed dry flat. And it says here on the tag that it's um, 5.5 stitches equal one inch on US five needles. It does not show um, crochet hook sizes or anything, but it should be uh, basically approximately the same size as knitting needles, I would say anyway. Um, we all know that Plymouth Yarns is based out of uh, Bristol, Pennsylvania. Um, this is color number one, and it's Sepia Sunrise. But that is so pretty. Oops. Of course, it comes unhanked. Now, these were on special. For seven dollars each and they were down from twelve dollars one of my cats decided to jump on the bed and knock everything around I picked up six of this color and then I picked up six in this color. Doesn't that scream spring to you? Greens and yellows and oh. I saw these, I think she had so many different colors. I couldn't choose, but of course I did. But I wanna go back there as well. This is the same as the last one. Uh, color is 103 and that's Lime Sunset. But isn't that gorgeous? So I picked up six of these as well. And then next on my list was a Plymouth Reserve worsted and when I got home I put them all in little baggies look at that color there's pinks and mauves and cr like a cream I'm going to see if this will help. But they're so pretty. And I'll tell you the details here. Uh, let's see. It's 90% super washed fine merino wool, 10% mulberry silk. And this is color number 105, and that's called Rose. And I picked up two of them. 
and these were normally $22. I picked these up for $5 a piece. I'm sorry, it's backwards. These were, I believe, outside in one of her baskets. And from what I understand, when it's not inclement weather, she'll have the baskets outside just to draw in customers. And I know that's what drew me in. But I got two of those. And then also in the basket. Now that was inside. I picked up two more Plymouth Reserve Sports. Um, this one is 45% fine merino wool, 35% silk, and 20% bamboo. And it says, for best results, hand wash cold, dry flat. And it uses a number four needle, six stitches, stitches, <laughs> six stitches per inch, 100 grams, approximately 348 yards. The color is 309, and it's copper mix. Look at those colors. And that's pretty true to color. I'm going to have to film in here more often. And I picked up two of that. Did I pick up two of that color? No. One of this color. And normally... Let's see. Do do do. Check my notes. It's on the next page. Normally these are $22.99 and I paid, she had it marked $13, but then on the back she had $8. So that's a pretty good deal. And in the same style of yarn, the uh, Plymouth Reserve Sport, I picked up number 301 Red Mix. That's pretty. Those will look nice together. And again, that was only $8. And then I picked up two in the color 307 Green Mix. Now, why am I picking up green? I never buy green. But it looks like spring. Doesn't it? Isn't that pretty? And yet again, these were down from $22.99. Down to $8. We all know I love a deal. I couldn't pass them up. And then, while we were downstairs going through all her baskets and bins and cubbies and everything down there, Kim found me this DK Merino Superwash Collage. Now there was only one that we could find. And it's 100% Superwash Fine Merino Wool. Uh, 50 grams, approximately 130 yards. Uses a six needle, 5.5 stitches each per one inch. And this is color number 05, Bonfire. Now, 
these are pretty. There's purples and oranges and a little bit of dark red and some brown. And this was $8 and we picked it up for $3. I think that will make a nice little hat or maybe a little cowl, tight cowl up against the, your throat. But yeah, I had so much fun going through her downstairs area. And last but not least from there, I did pick up some buttons, but they're in my yarn room. I picked up, let's see if I can find it on here, it's on the next page, some Plymouth Yarns Sea Isle Cotton in the color Robin. It almost matches my, yeah, it's a little more green, but isn't that pretty? It's got greens and whites in there. Now this is 50% organic Pima cotton and 50% fine merino wool. And it says 100 grams, approximately 329 yards, hand wash, lay flat to dry. And it uses a number seven needle, 4.5 stitches per inch. And it's also made in Peru. And color number six, Robin. Now, this is a chain spun or cable twist. Let's see if I can get it to focus, hide my face. Can you see that? It's, it's just so pretty and it's so fluffy soft. I saw this and I could not resist. I could not resist the feel of it. It's so soft against your skin. I'm thinking maybe a shawl of some some kind for summer. But this is normally $15.99 each. I picked up three of them. And they were kind of jacked up with their twists. So I ended up retwisting them on the hank. Picked up three of those. But I had a great time shopping with him. We also stopped at a little bookstore that I did a little montage last Sunday or Monday, one of the days um, of where some of the places we went. I had a great time, had a great time, and I would love to do it again. But I think it's going to have to be a little bit warmer. And right now we're getting one to eight inches of snow. I'm not dri driving two and a half, three hours in this stuff on the interstate. But I hope you like what you saw. You can find them in... If you go to uh, yarn.com, which is webs, um, you can find a lot of the web stuff in the sale area. Just click on the sale and it drop, has a drop down box. And it has sale, sale of the week, grandpa's garage. A lot of that was in the back part. 
and then check out Northampton Wools. Like I said, I'll link her down below. I hope you like this. Please like, share, sh subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, y'all. Bye.